So let's begin by rubbing our hands together to bring some energy to our hands and then rest them on the face. It's a really relaxing hold to start. And we'll begin by massaging the forehead and the temples. Can you use your thumbs and your fingertips working our way out to the temples and down over the cheekbones and around the jaw. So just doing some nice strokes of the face. over the forehead and down around the temples we'll be alternating with these nice massage strokes around the face the forehead, the jaw and cheekbones with acupressure work. And here we're beginning to use the thumbs to do small circular movements over the forehead. And in this way we'll be working all the acupressure points along the forehead. Just covering the entire forehead we get any points there. And now along the under part of the eye socket, on the upper part of the eye socket, and out to the temples. I'm actually putting most of the pressure here with my fingertips, but working the upper and the bottom of the upper eye socket. And now the lower part of the eye sockets, or the cheekbones, all the way out to the temples starting at the nose, the top of the cheekbone all the way out to the temples and now the underside of the cheekbones pressing up against the cheekbones Repeating each cycle several times. And along the chin. Along the jaw. And then alternate some nice strokes over the face again. Just using enough pressure to massage. We don't want to be pulling the skin. And we'll repeat what we did before. You can use a little bit of lotion, some kind of natural lotion on your hands to keep from pulling the skin. And you're using gentle pressure working with the thumbs on the forehead and around the temples. This feels really nice. It's really relaxing. And down around the jaw and focusing on the jaw points again. You can just feel for tense areas around the jaw and just give them some extra attention because most of us hold a lot of tension in the jaw these points can actually be very tender on some people
If you want to relax certain areas like the jaw, you can just hold the points a little longer. And now I'm focusing again on the eye sockets above the eyes and round to the outer edge. There's acupressure points all along the upper part of the eyes and underneath the eyes and along the cheekbone. So we'll just keep going over those with small circular moves. I'm using all of my first three fingers here, so I'm just covering a lot of area. Being really thorough. Remember we're going along the upper part of the cheekbone and on top of the cheekbone and then down along the underside of the cheekbone all the way out to the jaw. By doing this we're relaxing the muscles and stimulating all the acupressure points all over the face. Increasing the circulation, increasing the blood flow, toning the muscles. Good. Always alternating with some nice massage strokes. Making sure you're not pulling the skin. With just enough lotion or oil on your hands. And we'll start again on the forehead, down to the temples, and on the cheeks. Working this temple area can be really good for headaches too. And I'm focusing on the points up against the cheekbone and on top of the cheekbone. In Chinese medicine, they talk about the meridians of the body or energy channels that flow all through the body and affect the different organs of the body. And these meridians, many of them go up over the back of the neck and shoulders, over the head and the face. So by working, massaging the face and these points all over the face, you're stimulating these meridian flows or energy flows. So you're also relaxing the whole body. And many of these points are found along the top of the eyes and underneath the eyes, these temple areas, these areas that we're giving extra attention to. Around the top of the eyes, the bottom of the eyes, the eye sockets, and the cheekbones. Oil. You could use just almond oil or any kind of oil that doesn't have a strong scent or you buy a good massage oil that you can buy. A lot of the new massage oils now are made so that they'll wash out of the sheets easily so you don't have a buildup of oil in the sheets and that's really good. You just want to make sure that you don't use oil that's rancid. You want to make sure it's fresh. 
So you might want to keep your massage oil in the refrigerator if you don't use it very often. And then maybe warm it up in a pan before you use it. So we're just using, doing long strokes to warm up the muscles in the back of the legs now and also to oil the legs. Get the oil on the legs and just... The long strokes are really relaxing too. So they're always important to just... always from one transition to the other go do long strokes. Now we're going to focus on the lower leg and do some back and forth kneading. So back and forth. We're going down the lower leg and we're doing some back and forth kneading. Here I'm leaning down the top and also gripping a little bit from the side. So I'm working both the outer side as well as the top of the leg. You can go on up and when you go over the knee, go really light. You don't want to push, put pressure on the back of the knee. Okay. And then we'll focus a little bit more on the lower leg with our thumbs going up. And here it's good, I find, to use the whole thumb, not just isolate because that can make you want to jump. So just go up with the whole thumbs, both sides, working up the center, the belly of the muscle. And again, I'm leaning into this, as always, just with my whole body. Go alternate like this. And then go up lightly over the back of the knee and up the back and down. Now I'm going to take this hand and hold under here and lift up the leg like this. And from this position, we can take the ankle like this and lift up. So I'm bending down and lifting up a little bit so I don't strain my back and giving a little bit of rock. So now we're going to do is take one hand under here and take with the other hand lift the leg up like this and grab at the ankles like this. Bend down, lift up, straighten up and lift the like knee off the table and give it a little rock down and the rock the leg. This helps it to let go of the muscles. Just feels good. And then you can take the foot from this angle and twist. Bring this ankle stretch. Both directions. And then I'm going to sit on the end of the table here and set the foot on my shoulder, and from this angle, you can work down the back of the leg, like so. You can do long strokes like this, or like a draining stroke. You're always wanting to move in the direction of the heart, so the blood's moving in the direction of the heart, so. You can go down like that, and then up the back of the leg, like so. That's a good position for working the back of the leg. Just alternating thumbs and leaning in with the palm of the hand all the way up to the hip. Down. And you can do some long strokes down and up and down and up. And you can also work the bottom of the foot a little bit from this angle. And I'm pressing down with my fingertips and squeezing.
torso and like squeeze the heel. Okay. And then bring the leg down like so and then finish with a long stroke. Okay. So, some long strokes at the leg to get oil on the leg. And so. I'll start with this like this on the top of the foot. Here I'm working working along the top with my thumbs and also putting pressure with my fingers on the bottom. So you're working kind of squeezing, working both sides down between the bones and the feet, metacarpals down down the toe. And then with both hands and I'm working the bottom of the foot at the same time with my fingers. This and over the heels. I'm working the inside of the heel of my thumbs and working a little bit at the same time with the outside with my fingertips, just all around the heel. And work up Achilles tendon a little bit there. And then down the instep of the foot here is really important. And I'm using the, my whole thumbs all the way down. And from this angle, I start to work the bottom of the foot. And I'm going to get down on my knees to work the bottom. And here you can work it's all along the foot with both thumbs using circular movements. And I'm working down the one step in reflexology. This is along the spine, so this is a really important area. Down the middle of the foot. Along the top of the foot. To work all over around the toes. area of the bottom of the foot, down the heel, and do alternate pressing like this, down, like that, and hold the ankle, give it a little, stretch it, nice stretch. Okay, and then finish it off with some long strokes again. Again, working the top and the bottom at the same time over the heel. And then we can go and work the leg. Up the leg. And here I'm working on both sides of the tibia, bone up the calf. I'm working here with my finger and my thumb on the far side, just kind of going up along the bone and down along the edge of the bone, the side of the bone there, not on the bone, on the muscle. And up and down. And you do a little circular. Here I'm actually Going up both sides of the calf. Okay. Right up to the top side. And you 
can work on the sides. Alternating your way up. And you're also working the top at the same time with your hands, but focusing on the sides. And on the inside. shake as you go down. Then you can take the hand with one hand on one side and put a little bit more oil on it. Hand on one side underneath, and the other hand on her head, I'm going to turn it to the side. I'm just going to turn it a little bit so that I can get the side of the neck. And you want to just stay down this side of the neck. You don't want to go over to the front. And here I'm also just naturally, because my hand's there, I'm also working with my fingertips on the other side of the neck. Because I'm just doing a squeezing motion here with my hands, so my fingers are going up at the same time, the other side of the neck. So you're really working both sides of the neck at the same time. stroke and do the other side the same way. You can see how my fingers are working the other side of the neck at the same time. So now we're starting with the neck and shoulders. And I go up the neck, the back of the neck. This is giving the neck a nice stretch, which is really nice for the neck. Okay. So we'll start with the top of the shoulders. And I'm working here with my thumbs. And you can just feel for those tight areas. There's usually lots of tight areas here on the top of the shoulders. And just gently work those points on the shoulders that are tight, little circular movements. all along the top of the shoulders. And go like so. Another way to work the top of the shoulders is with your knuckles. You can go like so, do one side and the other side. Well, one's going down, the other one's going up. Go a little more to the back. And we'll 
just again feeling for tight spots, working a little bit more. Here I'm working with my knuckles rather than my thumbs. Remember to breathe. You can also reach under a little bit, reaching down like so, and work up. Working with my fingertips here between the shoulder blades and the spine on both sides, gently working up. And up to the neck. Do that again. Down with one hand, down the other. Way up. If you find a tight spot, you just hold it for a moment. And up, and I'm working all the way up the neck here. My fingers. Work a little bit on the neck. The side of the neck. And with this, we're again, we're working both sides. Because I'm working here with the thumb, and my fingers are working on the other side of the neck. Just this gentle, natural squeezing motion as we work down the neck. you find it's kind of tight, you can just kind of gently press into it a little bit. A little pressure point, work down the neck. And you just want to stay on this side, this side of the muscle there. And then I would do the same on the other side. As you can see, I'm, I'm working with the fingers as well. Feeling for tight areas. Now we could just work a little bit on both sides of the neck, going up, just circular movements up either side of the spine. And up to the top. And here I'm working along the base of the skull, right underneath the base of the skull, right where the muscles meet and attach to the base of the skull, the occipital ridge. This is a really important area to work because it really gets tight and it's usually where it will be tight if someone has a headache. You can loosen this up and really help headaches a lot. Just gently work it till it loosens up both sides, like so. Just feeling for tight spots, gently working them till they loosen up. Long strokes again. Okay. Now 
Okay, so what we're going to do here is some leg stretches for to help stretch the lower back. And what we do is uncover her leg and tuck it in so that she feels securely covered. And then lift up the knee like so. And lift it up towards your chest like so. Does that feel okay? Okay. And we do some circular movements like this. really stretches out that lower back. And then if you move your hip over just about a half an inch towards me, good. And then we'll stretch across like this. And you can use your forearm for pressure to stretch. Okay, and back. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to work on the feet and give just an introduction here to foot reflexology. What we're going to be working on are all the points on her feet that are reflex points to all the different areas of the body. So first, just get the whole foot, top of the foot and the bottom of the foot here. I'm going to work the instep of the foot. Now in reflexology, the instep of the foot has to do with the spine. So you'll find that if their spine is really tight, say this area of the spine is the upper back, and this goes all the way down, the sacrum would be down here. This area will be tight on the foot. So you can just feel for tight spots and work those areas. you find a sore spot, it usually means that that area needs work, so just gently work it. This area here would be really sore if they have sciatica problems. Down in here. And look at the bottom of the foot. Okay, so we're going to be working the bottom of the foot, and I'm going to work a little bit more down the spine from this angle feeling for tight spots. Just working the whole bottom of the foot. That way you're going to get all the important points. Here is the lung area. You work that. You can work on the toes. It's an important area to work if someone has a headache because this would go to the area of the head. This would be the neck. So if someone has a headache, somewhere in here will be sore. Just work that. Work the toes. So anytime you find an area that's just really sore, you just would really want to spend more time with it. And as we go down, straight across here would be the intestines. Intestinal area would go across like so and down the side. And small intestine all down through here, kidneys, all these areas. Let's work the whole foot. You want to remember to also work around the ankles. Some of these areas you wouldn't want to work if someone was if someone was pregnant, you don't want to work these points. And again the big main strokes on the foot working the bottom of the foot with my fingertips and the top of the foot with my hand, thumbs. Work up 
around the ankles. Do the other foot. I'll start with this, like this, on the top of the foot. And I'm working, working along the top with my thumbs and also putting pressure with my fingers on the bottom. So you're working, kind of squeezing, working both sides down between the bones and the feet, the carpals down, down the toe. Down each toe. And then with both hands, and I'm working the bottom of the foot at the same time with my fingers. And then another stroke like this. And over the heels. Here I'm working the inside of the heel with my thumbs and, and working a little bit at the same time with the outside with my fingertips, just all around the heel. And work up Achilles tendon little bit there. And then down the instep of the foot here is really important. Here I'm using the my whole thumbs all the way down. And from this angle you can start to work the bottom of the foot. And here you can work all along the foot with both thumbs using circular movements. Here I'm working down the one step in reflexology. This is along the spine, so this is a really important area. Down the middle of the foot. Along the top of the foot. Work all over around the toes. The sides. Just getting all the area of the bottom of the foot down the heel. And do alternate pressing like this. And hold the ankle and give it a little stretch it. Nice stretch. Okay. And then finish it off with some long strokes again. Again working the top and the bottom at the same time. Over the heel. Okay, so we're gonna go up the arm. Now that we've done the hands, we're going to go up the arm, do long strokes to get the arm oiled and introduce yourself to the arm. Up both sides and hold, hold the hand with one hand, go up the arm with the other. Inside. And then we'll start on the forearm. Hold with one hand and just work with the other one. Down the top of the forearm. This is often pretty sore on people. So you can also feel in the belly the muscle again for if it's especially tight. Just feel for some tight spots and work them. Some more. All the way down to the elbow here in the front. Both sides. Then I'm going to turn the arm and work on the underside. I 
variation on this too. If you have an apron on and you're not worried about the oil, you can lean it up against your body or hand and work both at the same time. So here I'm working the inside of her arm with my thumbs and the back front of the arm, the top of the arm with my fingers. So you're squeezing and working the whole arm forearm. You can also do it that way on the other side, leaning hand against your body. You can work both hands at the same time. like a draining move. Okay, then we'll go up the upper part of the arm. Just doing one last stroke of the whole arm before I move on to the upper part. And then I'm going to take the arm like so, holding it in my right hand, and walk over here. And I'm going to take it with my left hand, hold it like so, and let it fall down there. In this position, we can work down the upper arm and go back and forth movement. You can go all the way down to the shoulder this way. You can do it at the upper arm. Grab underneath the arm like that and pull it back like so. Then we can work the upper arm in this position. And you can lean it against the body if you want a little bit so it doesn't flop around so much. If you have an apron on, work down and up, and down the front and up the back. And you can get down around the shoulders. You could also work a little thumb work down this part of the arm, like so. And then you can also Take it like this, straighten your arm out, holding your elbow so it doesn't flop down, holding under there, and then you can hold it under here and work down like so. with a little stroke. Okay, so the stretches are good. You can do before you oil the arm. It's a little easier. You take the arm out, give it a little rock, and lift up. I'm going to grab at the wrist. I'm bending down so I don't bend my back and just lift up with my toes, stretch the arm up. And then put the arm back this way, give a little stretch. You can lean, do some pressure point work down with the hands, down the upper arm. And come back here, stretch like this. You can also, coming over to the other side, or like so, and stretch like this. And here you can also grab here at her elbow and reach under. And I'm going to grab behind the shoulder blades and lift and stretch. That feel good? Mm -hmm. And then one last stretch. Take your arm and give it a little rock with one hand. I'm just holding it here, so it's just helping it to let go. And then taking, sitting on the table and putting it over my knee like that. And then 
I'm going to use this part of my arm to work up this side of her spine along the muscle. And this can be a really deep move, but so you want to be really careful. Check in with the client, not go too deep. And I'm just putting a little bit of body weight into it. And check in with her. Does that feel like it's okay pressure? Yeah. Okay. And go up between the shoulder blades, between the shoulder blades and the spine. And then you can do, just lean into it, breathe, and a little farther, lean again, breathe, a little farther down, and always being careful to stay off the spine. And here I'm using this part of the arm, not the elbow. I'm not using too much pressure. And then you can give a little rock and go up. As I'm doing this, you can kind of feel for what depth works right. You can go a little bit deeper, just feeling in what feels right for the for your partner. You can also go down slowly. From this angle, you could turn a little bit and work on the lower back a little bit, too. So I'm mainly just working along this, these muscles here along the spine again. Go back up. And I feel like in, with her, the upper back is the tightest, so I'm getting more attention up there. I didn't do it this this one, so that's probably good too. It's very good. this stroke too, you can lean forward and start to use your forearm with it too. And here I'm using the whole thumb, so I'm working this whole muscle area on both sides of the spine and just leaning into it. the sacrum, and over the hips, and back up. Again. And then you can vary it by going down one side at a time. Again, I'm staying off the spine, not putting weight on the spine with my hands or anything. I'm just focusing on the muscles on either side. The side. both sides at the same time.
back and forth. So you're working the attachments, the muscles, the small muscles to the spine. And that's always whenever you can work the attachments to the bones in the area where the muscle actually attaches to the bones, it really helps the muscles to let go. Relax. So let's begin by rubbing our hands together to bring some energy to our hands and then rest them on the face. It's a really relaxing hold to start. And we'll begin by massaging the forehead and the temples. Can you use your thumbs and your fingertips working our way out to the temples and down over the cheekbones and around the jaw. So just doing some nice strokes of the face. over the forehead, and down around the temples, we'll be alternating with these nice massage strokes around the face, the forehead, the jaw, and cheekbones with acupressure work. And here we're beginning to use the thumbs to do small circular movements over the forehead. And in this way we'll be working all the acupressure points along the forehead. Just covering the entire forehead. We get any points there. And now along the under part of the eye socket, on the upper part of the eye socket, and out to the temples. I'm actually putting most of the pressure here with my fingertips, but working the upper and the bottom of the upper eye socket. And now the lower part of the eye sockets, or the cheekbones, all the way out to the temples, starting at the nose, the top of the cheekbone, all the way out to the temples. And now the underside of the cheekbones, pressing up against the cheekbones. Repeating each cycle several times. And along the chin. Along the jaw. And then alternate with some nice strokes over the face again. Just using enough pressure to massage, we don't want to be pulling the skin. And we'll repeat what we did before. You can use a little bit of lotion, some kind of natural lotion on your hands to keep from pulling the skin. And you're using gentle pressure working with the thumbs on the forehead and around the temples. This feels really nice. It's really relaxing. And 
and down around the jaw and focusing on the jaw points again. You can just feel for tense areas around the jaw and just give them some extra attention. Because most of us hold a lot of tension in the jaw, these points can actually be very tender on some people. If you want to relax certain areas like the jaw, you can just hold the points a little longer. And now I'm focusing again on the eye sockets above the eyes and round to the outer edge. There's acupressure points all along the upper part of the eyes and underneath the eyes and along the cheekbone. So we'll just keep going over those with small circular moves. I'm using all of my first three fingers here, so I'm just covering a lot of area. being really thorough. Remember we're going along the upper part of the cheekbone and on top of the cheekbone and then down along the underside of the cheekbone all the way out to the jaw. By doing this, we're relaxing the muscles and stimulating all the acupressure points all over the face. Increasing the circulation.